In this example, we're finding f compose f of x if f of x equals the square root of x. So right here, I have wrote down the definition just as a reminder of what f compose f of x really means. It means that f compose f of x is another way of saying f as a function of f of x. So you're going to find what f of x is, and then you're going to plug it in for x in your f of x function. It seems kind of confusing, but let's start out by writing what f of x is. f of x is the square root of x. Now, rather than writing x in our f function, we're going to write what f of x is. So, f of f of x is going to be equal to the square root of f of x. And this is just going to be the square root of the square root of x. And this will be easier to see if we replace our square roots with the exponent 1 half, because that's what a square root means. It just means take your base to the exponent of 1 half. So we're going to get x to the power of a half. That takes care of our inside square root. And now we're going to take all of this to the power of a half again. And using exponent rules, we can multiply the two exponents together. So we'll get x to the 1 quarter, or the fourth root of x. Now, we need to find this domain of this function. And the rule for finding the domain of a root function is that you have to ensure that the number inside of the root is greater than or equal to zero. In this case, all we have inside the square root is x. So therefore, the domain is the following. x is such that x is greater than or equal to zero and on this interval, x will exist on the set of all real numbers.